Opposite him, the dear man sat with his eyes closed again. His face looked very old, but friendly. It was full of peace, and he was smiling to himself, as though he had stepped down into his own thoughts like a tired man into a foot bath. Tranquility streamed from him. Knecht felt it, and himself grew calmer. Now the magister turned on his chair and placed his hands on the piano. He played a theme and carried it forward with variations. It seemed to be a piece by some Italian master. He instructed his guest to imagine the progress of the music as a dance, a continuous series of balancing exercises, a succession of smaller or larger steps from the middle of an axis of symmetry, and to focus his mind entirely on the figure which these steps formed. He played the bars once more, silently reflected on them, played them again, then sat quite still, hands on his knees, eyes half closed, without the slightest movement, repeating and contemplating the music within himself. His pupil, too, listened within himself, saw fragments of lines of notes before him, saw something moving, something stepping, dancing and hovering, and tried to perceive and read the movement as if it were the curves in the line of a bird's flight. The pattern grew confused and he lost it. He had to begin over again. For a moment his concentration left him and he was in a void. He looked around and saw the master's still, abstracted face floating palely in the twilight, found his way back again to that mental space he had drifted out of. He heard the music sounding in it again, saw it striding along, saw it inscribing the line of its movement, and followed in his mind the dancing feet of the invisible dancers. It seemed to him that a long time had passed before he glided out of that space once more, again became aware of the chair he sat on, the mat-covered stone floor, the dimmer dusk outside the windows. He felt someone regarding him, looked up and into the eyes of the music master, who was attentively studying him. The master gave him an almost imperceptible nod, with one finger played pianissimo, the last variation of the Italian piece, and stood up. Stay on, he said. I shall be back. Try once again to track down the music. Pay attention to the figure, but don't force yourself. It's only a game. If you should fall asleep over it, there's no harm. He left. 